They're in the gate. And they're off. And from the inside, it's Can't Help Believing going out for the lead. And Legit is right there in between horses. And on the outside is Value Engineering. So it's Can't Help Believing and Value Engineering. And the two of them are right together in this early part of the 11 furlong marathon. And the front two have opened up three and a half lengths on Legit in third. And then it is Counter Offer next in fourth. Followed by Go Poke the Bear and Bunde Boonin as they come into the stretch for the first time after a quarter and 25 and three-fifths seconds. Can't help believing is on the inside and with a head in front. Value Engineering, the favorites in between horses, and Go Poke the Bears on the outside. So now it's three of them across as they go under the line for the first time. Go poke the bear, value engineering, and on the inside, can't help believing. The front three have seven or eight lengths on legit Bundy Boonin and counter offer. The half up in 50 and three-fifths seconds, and bolting there to the outside is go poke the bear. Go poke the bear is way out there. See if he can get back involved in this race here. Can't help believing and value engineering, and they are heads apart as the field races up the back stretch. Go poke the bear, way out in the middle of the course, racing in third. Bundy Boonin is now in fourth, then legit, and counter offer. The leader here is Can't Help Believing by a length over Value Engineering. It's Can't Help Believing, Value Engineering. They are one, two, and they've got two and a half lengths on Bundy Boonin, who's gotten closer in third. So has legit, who's down on the inside and advancing from fourth. Then counter offer, and a tough to handle, go poke the bear. The field goes around the far turn now, and it's Can't Help Believing and Value Engineering. Bundy Boonin, just a length off the front two. Value Engineering now takes the lead. Bundy Boonin moving up on the outside into second. Can't Help Believing is third. Then it is a legit and counter offer. They are in the stretch. Value Engineering has a two-and-a-half length lead. Then legit Bundy Boonin and counter offer on the outside. Value Engineering, here comes Bundy Boonin, and here comes Counter Offer. Counter Offer on the extreme outside. Value Engineering, it's going to be very tight. Did Counter Offer pull off the upset, or did the favorite Value Engineering hold on? Number seven, Counter Offer was first. Number six, Value Engineering second. Number five, Bundy Boonin was third. And number four, Legit finished fourth. Results unofficial. Seven, six, five, four. The time was two minutes, 21 and one fifth seconds.
Ladies and gentlemen, please hold all tickets. There's a steward's inquiry into the stretch run involving the second and third place finishers. Please hold all tickets. Steward's inquiry. In the winner's circle, the unofficial winner, number seven, counter offer. Four year old Gray Gelding by Tapazar, out of Donate by City Zip. Counter offer is owned by Six Column Stables, trained by Ian Wilkes and the rider Manny Franco. In addition to the stewards' inquiry, we also have a jockey's objection. Jose Ortiz, the rider of number five, Mundi Boonen, alleging interference against number six, Value Engineering, in the stretch. So both the stewards' inquiry and a jockey's objection. Hold all tickets. They're in the gate. And they're off. From the outside, Imperio D, Brunati is there, and always funny, those three for the early lead. And then it is Kebab, who's in between horses, racing in fourth as they head up the back stretch. It is Imperio D. Challenged now by the favorite. Dawn's early light has come on through. Dawn's early light is up there in between horses. Is always funny. Imperio D's on the outside in third. Kebab is in fourth and Brunati next in fifth. Followed by uh, Bielefeld in sixth. Breeds Hill on the outside runs in seventh. Friday Beers is next in eighth. Two and a half lengths back to Apex Predator who is in ninth. And then uh, for the back it is Jack Russell with Lorenzen. And way, way out of it at the uh, back of the pack is Second Fortune. The half mile went in 45 and 4. Dawn's early light and Imperio D. They are heads apart with Kebab just in behind in third. Brunati is next in fourth. Uh, then comes Always a Funny. Down on the inside is uh, Bielefeld. The field is moving down for the eighth pole. Dawn's early light, Imperio D. Kebab on the outside, three of them across, and Brunati is in fourth, now is 16th to the finish. Kebab has taken over the lead. Imperio D in second. It is Kebab at a big price. Imperio D held second over Brunati. Always funny, completes the superfecta. Number four, Kebab, was first. Number 11, Imperio D, second. Number 10, Brunati, was third. And number eight, Always Funny, finished fourth.
Results unofficial, 4, 11, 10, and 8. And the time was 1 minute 24 and 1 fifth seconds. Universal payday, first rate is there, and The Rock says, not far behind Blood Moon on the extreme outside. Then Super Wicked Charm and Fried Rice King as the field goes into the clubhouse turn. And from the inside, it is Universal payday, but passed quickly there by Blood Moon. Blood Moon has now taken over the lead, and it's the trio of Universal payday, first rate, and the favorite, The Rock says. A gap of six lengths back to Super Wicked Charm, another three to Fried Rice King. And the opening quarter mile was run in 23 and three-fifths seconds as the field now moves up the back stretch. Blood Moon leads here by a length. The Rock says on the outside is second by a length. Universal Payday and first rate are heads apart, third and fourth. Big break back to a Super Wicked Charm and Fried Rice King continues to trail. After a half and 47 and three-fifths seconds, it is Blood Moon on top here. Blood Moon, three-quarters of a length. The Rock says is racing in second. Now it's almost three. Back to Universal Payday and first rate. The field goes around the far turn. It's Blood Moon and The Rock says, and they continue to race one, two. Three-quarters went in one, eleven, and three. Blood Moon has the lead as they come for the quarter pole. The Rock says now draws right alongside. So it's Blood Moon and The Rock says with Universal Payday racing in third, then first rate as they move for the eighth pole. The Rock says on the outside, Blood Moon on the inside, and Universal Payday out in the middle of the track. Here comes Universal Payday to take over with a 16th out. Universal Payday is going to win it here. Universal Payday won by two at the end. The Rock says got second, photo for third, pace setting Blood Moon or first rate. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold all tickets. There is a trainer's objection. Robertino Diodoro, the trainer of number four, The Rock says, alleging interference against number one, Universal Payday, in the stretch. Hold all tickets. Trainer objection. They're all in line. And they're off. And they all came away to a good beginning. Ms. Malevolence and Lake Chico on the outside. Now, leave you with a smile moves up. Leave you with a smile, Ms. Malevolence. Those two are right together. Just in behind, Stunning Bunnings runs in third. Lake Chico's on the outside in fourth. And pick up the phone down at the rail runs in fifth. Then it's Touch of Nirvana next in sixth. Customer Experience is racing in seventh. And Persian Queen trails the field in eighth after a quarter. In 22 seconds, leave you with a smile by a neck. 
Ms. Malevolence on the outside is right there in second as they race midway around the turn. Pick up the phone. Stunning Munnings are heads apart third and fourth. And at Lake Chico is next in fifth. Farther back, it's Touch of Nirvana, Customer Experience, and Persian Queen as they hit the head of the stretch. Leave you with a smile. Pick up the phone is just in behind. Ms. Malevolence is tailed off. Stunning Munnings on the outside. Customer Experience putting in a late run as they pass the eighth pole. It is Leave You With a Smile in front by a length and a half. Pick up the phone in second. Leave You With a Smile trying to hang in there for another 100 yards. Leave You With a Smile has won it in front running fashion. Pick up the phone was second. And Customer Experience finished third. Number two, leave you with a smile was first. Number four, pick up the phone second. Number one, customer experience was third. And number three, Persian Queen finished fourth. Results unofficial, 2413. Time of the race, one minute, 10 seconds. They're all in. They're off. Number seven, Scuttlebuzz, jumped up at the start and trails the field. Volietto and Open Lengths are out for the early lead, and they're joined on the outside by two early as they head into the clubhouse turn. Volietto down at the rail, Open Lengths in between horses, and two early on the outside. So the three of them are heads apart for the lead. It's a length and a quarter to Sandro the Great, who's running in fourth, and after that, Awkward beginning, Scuttlebuzz trails the field in fifth. The quarter went in 24 and one-fifth seconds. And it is the first-time starter, Open Lengths, who has the lead here as they head up the back stretch. It is Open Lengths by a length. Too early on the outside in second. Volietto is now back running in third, but just two lengths from the lead. Then it's Sandro the Great and Scuttlebuzz. They're midway up the back stretch. Open Lengths is the leader here by a length with the favorite, too early, racing in second. Half mile, one in 49 and two. Volietto down at the rail and Sandro the Great alongside. They are heads apart third and fourth. And Scuttlebuzz continues to trail as they approach the far turn. Open lengths by three quarters of a length. Too early on the outside. Remains in second as they go around the far turn. It's still open lengths. And here comes Sandro the Great on the outside, now making a move up into contention. Sandro the Great has quickly taken over the lead from open lengths. Too early is in third, then Scuttlebuzz and Volietto. Three quarters went in 114 and one. They are at the top of the stretch, and it is Sandro the Great in the lead. Open lengths trying to battle back on the inside. Too early is right there on the outside, so it's three of them across inside the eighth pole. Too early, and Sandro the Great, now it's between those two, and now Too Early has taken the lead here in deep stretch. Too early to uh, break his maiden. Sandro the Great was second, and open lengths finished third.
Number five, Too Early was first. Number 10, Sandro the Great second. Number four, Open Lengths was third. And number seven, Scuttlebuzz finished fourth. Results unofficial. 5 10 4 7. The time was 1 minute 52 seconds. They're off. Uh, Vintage Hollywood is out first, out for the lead. And down on the inside, Kerry Boy moves up. Mission Wrap It Up is right there. As the field moves up the back stretch, Kerry Boy has taken the lead. And then Vintage Hollywood is next in second. Followed by Coach Villa down on the inside in third. Big Thicket, the favorite on the outside, is next as they continue along here. It is Kerry Boy, Mission Wrap It Up, Vintage Hollywood all together. Big Thicket and Coach Villa heads apart fourth and fifth. They've got three lengths on Quintarelli, and it's another four and a half. Back to the two trailers, Giant Shoes and 10-29. Opening quarter, 23 and one-fifth seconds as they go around the far turn. Kerry Boy, Mission Wrap It Up, and on the outside, it is Vintage Hollywood. Those three have a length and a half on Big Thicket. The favorite is in fourth. Coach Villa is down on the inside in fifth. Then Quintarelli and farther back, the trailers, giant shoes, and 1029. Half mile and 45 and two. The field is in the stretch. It's Mission Wrap It Up, and it's Vintage Hollywood, and it's Coach Villa. And on the outside, it's Big Thicket as they move inside the eighth pole. Vintage Hollywood has come away with the lead, and Vintage Hollywood is on to victory here. Coach Villa in second, Vintage Hollywood. Proves much the best. It looked like Coach Villa did get second over Big Thicket. Mission, wrap it up, was fourth. Number seven is Vintage Hollywood, a five-year-old chestnut gelding by Country Day, out of Hollywood and Wine by Tactical Cat. 
Vintage Hollywood is owned by Noda Brothers, trained by Orlando Noda. Second win today for jockey Manny Franco. And Vintage Hollywood was bred in New York by Harry L. Landry. And they're off. And they all came away to a good beginning from the inside. It is Kachabid and Noor Sahara. And from the outside, there goes Zenobia to join the front runners. Viadera is next in fourth, followed by passing out in fifth. Uh, then it's uh, Clara Peters and Hogan's Holiday as the field moves around the clubhouse turn. And Zenobia has gone on with it now to take over the lead. Catch a bid, runs in second. North Sahara is in third. Then uh, passing out and uh, Viadera. Those two are right together. And now the field is on the back stretch. The quarter one in 24 and four. Zenobia leads here by a length and a half. With Catch a bid giving chase in second. And North Sahara running in third. Viadera is fourth. Followed by passing out Clara Peters, and farther back is the big long shot, Hogan's Holiday. The half went in 49 and three fifth seconds over the good turf, and Zenobia is the leader here. It's Zenobia by two. Catch a bid. We'll look to reel in Zenobia now as the field goes around the far turn. Zenobia is still in front. Catch a bid runs in second, and then it's Noor Sahara in third, followed by Viadera in fourth, passing out. Gains a bit of ground down towards the rail from fifth, and Clara Peters is sixth. The field comes off the turn and enters the stretch, and here is Kachabid now to take the lead. It's Kachabid in front. Noor Sahara on the outside is moving up into second as Zenobia drops back. Then comes Viadera, and passing out is looking for a way through. Here's Noor Sahara. Here's Viadera on the outside. Viadera wins it right at the end. Viadera over North Sahara and passing out in third. And the time was one minute, 38 seconds. Number six, Viadera was first. Number two, North Sahara second. Number three, passing out, finished third. And number four, Clara Peters was fourth. Results unofficial. Six, two, three, four. The time was one minute, 38 seconds. They're in the gate. There goes Lady Worthington out for the early lead. And uh, down on the inside is uh, Guacamole. Olandon is in between horses. And then it is the favorite Lady Lawyer who's racing in fourth at this point. A length and a half to uh, Turf War and two and a half more to Lost Ticket, the trailer in sixth. Lady Worthington on top here after running the opening quarter mile over the good turf 
in 21 seconds. Lady Worthington leads midway on the turn. Olin Doan is in second. Guacamole down on the inside in third. And then it is Lady Lawyer next in fourth as the field comes from the top of the stretch. It's Lady Worthington and Olin Doan, and they are heads apart as they head for home. On the outside, it is Olin Doan. On the inside, it is Lady Worthington who's still there. Lady Lawyer has moved up on the outside, so it's three of them across. Then Turf War and Lost Ticket. On the inside, Olin Doan. On the outside, it's Lady Lawyer, and Lady Lawyer is going to prevail by a head at the end. Olin Doan was second, followed by Turf War and Lost Ticket. Number three, Lady Lawyer was first. Number two, Olin Don, second. Number six, Turf War finished third. And number four, Lost Ticket was fourth. Results not official. Three, two, six, and four. Five and a half furlongs on the turf in one minute, four seconds. We're set for the start. And they're off. Blamed from the outside is going for the lead, but Indian Pride quickly moves up to take over. Indian Pride is in front. And Blamed is racing in the second. Then it's Joy Epiforta next in third. Please flatter me on the outside. Runs in fourth. Then it is Positive Spirit next in fifth. Followed by Risky Mandate in sixth. On her way is running in seventh, a break of four to the two trailers, Bella Chow and Slimy. The opening quarter mile, 23 seconds, and it is Indian Pride. The favorite here in front by a little more than a length. On the outside is Blamed, who's second by ahead. Joy Epiforta is down on the inside and in third. Risky Mandate has made progress and is now up into fourth. On her outside is Please Flatter Me in fifth, followed at the rail by Positive Spirit in sixth. In the meantime, Joy Epiforta has come on through down on the inside to take over the lead from Indian Pride after a half and 46 seconds. It's Joy Epiforta, Indian Pride, blamed on the outside. Three of them across as they move down for the eighth pole. Here is blamed now to take the lead. And down on the inside is Indian Pride, who's come back again. Indian Pride and Blamed. A good stretch stool here. They come for the finish. Indian Pride has won it. Coming back again at the rail to defeat Blamed. And Risky Mandate was third. And the seven furlongs in one minute, 21 and three-fifth seconds.
Number five, Indian Pride was first. Number nine, Blame second. Number two, Risky Mandate finished third. And number six, Joy Epiforta was fourth. Results unofficial. Five, nine, two, and six. Seven furlongs, one minute, 21 and three-fifth seconds. Number five is Indian Pride, a four-year-old Bay filly by Proud Citizen, out of Ms. Cornstalk by Indian Charlie. Indian Pride is owned by Brereton C. Jones. They're in the gate. And they're off. From the extreme outside, quick return is quickest of all. True Grace came away in second. You said hello is next in third. That it's cold, hard cash. Followed by Frozen Account as they're moving up the back stretch. And that is quick return with the lead. Cold, hard cash on the outside of True Grace. They're right together, second and third. And that's Operative, who's now moving into fourth. You said hello, is racing in fifth. Break of three to Diane's Impossible in sixth. Then it's Frozen Account. And then it is Golconda trailing the field in eighth. Quarter went in 23 and one. Quick return. Holding a three-quarter length lead over Cold Hard Cash, who's right there on the outside. True Grace just behind the front runners in third. Operative racing in fourth. And then it is You Said Hello, followed by Diane's Impossible. Farther back, Frozen Account. And the trailer is Galconda. Half mile, 45 and four. Quick return. And Cold Hard Cash. And the two of them are right together at the top of the stretch. Quick return on the inside and cold hard cash on the outside. Cold hard cash, quick return, nothing between them with an eighth of a mile to the finish. On the outside, cold hard cash, narrow lead, quick return, not giving up yet. It's quick return, cold hard cash now gets clear. And cold hard cash will get the money in the finale. Quick return, a good effort for a second. Diane's impossible came on for third. Number 14, Cold Hard Cash was first. Number 15, Quick Return second. Number 5, Diane's Impossible was third. And number 9, Golconda finished fourth. Results unofficial. 14, 15, 5, and 9. Time of the race, 1 minute 23 and 2 fifth seconds.
Number 14 is Cold Hard Cash. Three-year-old chestnut gelding by McLean's Music. Out of Perfect Legacy by Perfect Soul. Cold Hard Cash, owned by Barry K. Schwartz. This is a training double for Linda Rice, the winning rider, Jose Ortiz.